All right. Oh. Let's let's start here. So, Ganon versus Midnight. Um, things you'll want to look for uh, in this matchup is probably um, him walling you out with his like multi-hit aerials and like just trying to get in, which obviously with Ganon is really hard. Um, you're on Smashville. I don't know who won the paper scissors rock. Um, I doubt Yehya took you here. I'm pretty sure you must have won because he would have taken you to like I don't know Dreamland or Battlefield or Town City or one of those because he he couldn't have banned all of them. He he probably banned five thousand mission ways. But basically, um, you against Men Knight, you want to go to Final Destination. A good Men Knight will always ban Final Destination. Just because, like, they can't do shit with their upbees there. Um, so, let's just start off and I'll go through what I think you had trouble with. So, you start by going in and going out. And you do a jump. Another jump back air. But you fast fall it. So, that means you're in lag and he is not committed at all. And Midnight's fast as hell. And Gandalf's laggy as hell. So he goes in for a punish. And you roll. He just... He just continues. And does a dash attack. Um, you had a chance to put up your shield. You like rolled and then went in to like do something. I'm not sure what you did. You, you rolled and I saw you had enough frames to do something. Um, in that situation where you fast fold the back air. Do not fast fold the back air. Because you don't need to. If you if you fast forward the back air, you will be able to act out of the back air. If you if you auto cancel the back air rather, you'll be able to act out of it, and you won't be like stuck in an option where you're like, oh crap, I have to roll because midnight's coming at me, and you won't get into a panic situation, which I think that was. You won't get into a panic situation, roll, and then get punished by a dash tag. Because at low percents, Midnight's dash attack, look, not 0%, but at like 20, he can go like dash attack, up air, up air, up air, up air, and up bay, and that can be your stop, you know? So it's like, you always got to be careful about footsies with Midnight. So he, he lets you, he, he dropped the combo there. Um, that's his B, or maybe you just DI'd and vectored really well. He went up expecting a, uh, uh, jump and he throws out an up air but he didn't catch you with it and then he tries to cover it with the uh, nair but fails you pull out uh, an f tilt I'm not really sure why and you run away see that f smash was like pretty bad um, so like an f smash there would have netted you bait like a good percent but it's really low to hit and it won't kill, and you could probably rack up that percent with like a flame choke into down tilt into something else. Um, so I think I think that was a bit uh, a bit not weak, but a uh, poor decision. So I saw you tried to bait him out with the uh, up smash. Now this is a situation you never ever 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 want. So you just double jumped on top of a men knight. Midnight has such incredible, like, upwards power that, um, it has incredible upwards power, right? He has, he has, he's so dominating because of the incredible up air and his incredible up B, and you are out of options. Because, like, if you jumped once, you had a jump, you had an air dodge, you could use a move. But right now, you don't have a jump, so you are going to fall down there no matter what. So he either shields, so basically, if he shields, what are your options? You air dodge, he just grabs you or up smashes you out of shield. You do an attack, he shields, he like gets deep in, into like your hitbox area as you're landing. And you shield, and then you get grabbed again. So never, I don't think double jumping over midnight is ever good, in my opinion. Um... It's not like a, you will get punished 100% of the time, but I think you're just putting yourself in a really bad position. See, like, he, he went for the he went for the the attack, the dash attack, and 
Thankfully, yeah, I dodged. So that was good. Good F tilt. So you sort of, you, you went away and nared. I guess you were expecting, like, a, a roll, maybe. But, like... Oh, uh, well. Mm. I just don't think, I don't think you need to get, like, reads at such a low percent, maybe. Um, just because... Like, when you get a read, you want that read to kill or, like, put them in a terrible position. And a nair there really would have put him in, like, a terrible position. It wouldn't have set up for a kill. It would have given him, like, 8% or something. And then and then he gets an edgeguard situation for you. And as Ganon, you do not want to be in an edgeguard situation against a Med Knight. So, you put out another forward smash, which is, like, also another bad... Idea. I think maybe a bit less uh, antsy with the forward smashes, just because um, he, like, Man Knight is so mobile, he can, like, yeah, he can start up a, a goddamn neutral B above you and just fall into you and get you like he did just then. And, he, and he'll get stuff off it, because now he's under you, which is, like I said before, never where you want to be. Good perfect shield. Um... So like down throw, if DI'd properly, even at like zero percent, will ne lead into nothing. So what I think you should have done is down throw, and let's go back a tiny bit to here. Oh wow, that's way better. Oh, this is the whole vod. Um, yeah, let's just get back to where you were. Um, so, yeah, around about here. So, like, here, you get the perfect shield, which is good perfect shield, and then get the grab. Good punish. You down throw, and see how he has more than enough time to jump out. Um, a dash attack will never hit that if they DI properly. So maybe, like, just wait. Uh, not for Med Knight, but for other characters, like, probably Fox. Characters that uh, are full past, but also um, have... Also don't have multiple jumps, because it's a bit hard. Because now that he's used one of his jumps... Um, now that he's used one of his jumps, usually he can't jump again, but now that he can... You can't really put him in a bad position. Because now he can just dump down, punish your dash attack. Um, so good jump out of there. Good good evasion of his up airs. Uh, again, another smash that gets you, like, punished. I think you need to watch out on um throwing out smashes. Like, over committing when you don't really need to. Because, like, once again, it'll get you a lot of percents. But there's better moves in neutral... That will rack that percent up for you, like uh, maybe reverse, reverse up air, uh, you know, a back air, a well spaced back air. Oh, okay. So, um, it's pretty hard to get out of that, but okay. Let's see. I don't fuck this up again. Okay, fuck. That was really well done. Um, so what he was doing before, not now, but. In a second, he up aired. Okay, not now. I believe it's now. Up air, up air, and it's good that you di'd behind him because when when he's doing that, you want to di behind him because then he has to b reverse his up b, but he still hits you with it. Ah, oh, he gets he gets you with another one, and then he goes for the up b. See how he had to reverse that. Or, no, he didn't actually have to reverse that, did he? He just jumped again, and then up -bade. Oh, fuck. There it is. That's way too close. Um, and yeah, like I said before, he reversed and then up -bade. Um. That's way too close. Oh my god. We'll just... Go from. So yeah, here's the up B. So what you do in this situation is pretty critical. So you're, once again, like, if it doesn't kill, it will put you in another shitty position 
where like Midnight is under you and he can like just do like his really good up airs and up bees to hit you. So it's really critical that you like either go back to the ledge or you like evade him. Going back to the ledge can be risky though because then you put yourself in a re position, especially at this point where you're at 86% and Nash Smash will kill. Okay, that was good. Good game down. Okay, see, that would have never hit unless he rolled in twice. So that decision probably was not the best. Um, almost. You, you almost had that. So it means I'm... Means I'm pretty. Can I really not go in here? Okay. We're pretty soon. 40, I guess. That's when you fall down. Okay, so that side B would have been like a good punish if you had maybe spaced it a tiny bit better. So like he's going there and you stop. So you have lag. Um, you should probably not stop and go on because like there's like a very large amount of um space in between where his sword would hit you and where you saw the up B. So. You would have had less lag. You almost, if, if you hadn't stopped, you would have hit that punish and what could have, you know, gotten something really good off of it. But you stopped and you incurred lag and then you side bead. Because whenever you stop, you have like that skid animation that gives you like roughly like 30 frames of lag. And that's a shit ton. That's like a lot. That's like a whole F smash to whiff. You know, if you had moved in a bit more and then started the side B just so you could get him, it's risky. But I think it would have worked if you timed it properly. Because you just missed him by the tiniest bit. Um, bloody Optus calling me. So now he gets the grab. So that's good DI. You DI'd away. That's always where you want to DI. Because if you DI in, you'll hit, get hit by the up B. Um, See so again, another, another F smash that got you punished. Really got to watch those smashes. Because like good and mobile characters... With players that are like playing well, won't run into F smashes. Okay, that's good punish on his F smash. Uh, well, it was a jump after the F smash. That was that was a decent punish. Down throw. Okay, I I can respect I can respect that the read that he would like jump in, but maybe on a character that only has one jump, like it might not seem like a big difference. It might be like ah. Oh, Oh, he can just recover better if he has multiple jumps. But if you have multiple jumps, you commit a shit ton less in the air than a one jump character. Because if I had jumped in there, I would either have to have, like, as Fox, I would have had to air dodge when I hit the ground, which would have incurred me lag. And because up smash is so good, you can just F tilt afterwards. And if I was, like, at, like, 6%, that would have killed me. So I, I can respect that if it was a meta knight. I think maybe just... Think about that, and yeah, that I'm get. I hope I'm hoping that was a a misclick. Okay, good down B, good F tilt. He didn't tech. Ooh, nice. Okay, that was good. Let's twenty eight twenty. Let's go back. Okay, so you hit that. Um. So, once again, he's non-committal, and you committed to an up tilt already. So just wait for him to, if you see him like rushing to the ledge, maybe start an up tilt. But if, if it's like, he's just sort of chilling out, waiting for the up tilt, maybe wait a bit. Because he has to run out of jumps at some point, and then you'll hit him with that up tilt. Or maybe even do a, a different, like, a different, um... Edge guard. I don't really know. Again, it's positive edge guards. Like, I guess runoff bear is okay, but then once again, you'd be above him, and an up B probably would do some pretty bad damage right now. Maybe not kill because you're Ganon, but still. Okay, so you see him jumping, and he, I think he air dodges, and then he gets hit. So that was really good. That was a really good read. And then he gets you with that. Like I said, you know, he ends the stock very quickly. Oh, 
Oh, that was that was really good. I will I will give you credit for that. So you neared to get out of the get out of the tornado. That was really good. Once again, he started side B and you started a smash. Guess what's gonna win out over that? He's side B. You know? Um so good, good. That was a good uh, pummel, not pummel, jab to get him away from you. I didn't see many jabs. I think jab's pretty good. I think it's a pretty good move against tool set. So maybe use a bit up more often. Good uh, fair to with the miss space back air. So like up smash is good, but if he times it right, he can get in and get the punish. Um, so just watch, watch your your spacing and your timing with that. So this is the scary thing. You di in, and I bet she's gonna hit hit you with an up B. Or not fair. Oh, he got the raid, but mistimed it. So that was his B, not yours. Okay, good down B to, to clash with it. See up tilt there. You gonna he's gonna up smash you. Or dashed it. I mean, he could have run it too much. I think. Oh, just missed time that. You really got the t gotta get the timing of that right. Nice last one. If that's it, I can. Okay. F to it. Oh my lord. Ended. So, what happened there was, okay, so like, I'm not trying to be a bummer or anything, but, oh wait, this is like way back. Energy star, jump a tiny bit. Okay, so like, he does a really bad, a really bad downbeat, and you get this flame choke to kill. So, any character can tech your flame check, no matter what, yeah? So, like, it's really important. So, he shields. You get the shield raid. That's good. He can't do anything. He can jump out. He'll still get grabbed. I guess jump nair probably would have been an appropriate thing on your house part. He probably should have jumped nair when he saw you side being, but maybe you just didn't react in time. So, um, you side B into him, and you get the F tilt. Any character can tech that. And F tilt won't, and like F tilt won't hit them. So like, I don't want to be a bummer. Like you had a good match, but uh, like I think you need to find a way to get reliable kills other than flame choke than do X, only because um, like top ten, like yeah, he was good, but he didn't, he didn't take a single f choke flame, which is like it just it lets you kill him, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, that's that's just game one. I'll probably do some more later, but when I'm not like uploading. Uh, anyway, thanks, man.